हे गाइस आपका होस्ट एंड दोस्त फ्रेडी आप सभी को अपने यूट्यूब चैनल में स्वागत करता है गाइस लास्ट एपिसोड में आपने देखा था क्वांटम ब्रेक में पॉल ने विल को मार दिया था तो पॉल ऐसा क्यों कर रहा है और वो बेसिकली टाइम मशीन में जाने के बाद उसने क्या क्या किया है अपन इस एपिसोड में देखेंगे तो ज्यादा टाइम वेस्ट नहीं करते हैं लेट्स को My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission. Never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice. Because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking questions. Clear, Potentially turn on Monarch. Alternatively, we could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the the loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind. The men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. <laughs> I want this delivered to my office. What is it? A reminder. How long until the core is ready for transport? It'll be en route to Monarch headquarters in less than an hour. Installation should be complete before the gala. Good. Jack would never understand the necessity of what I'd done. It wasn't the death William deserved, but his knowledge posed too great a risk to our plan. It was the first time I'd visited the Ground Zero operation in ages, the location I'd arrived in when I went 17 years back in time, the location where my fate was sealed six years ago. Sir, who is this? Amy Ferrero, she's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Initialize a PR campaign. I want to stay. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, nobody sneaking around down there. Hey, I think that's Jack 
Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. Potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait! Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. Trusted monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. You Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk. Keep eyes on them and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. There's no other way out. I'm going through the machine. Oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Time's up. The one in the middle, I assume that's your mother. On the left, of course, your father. And on the right, the little one. How old is she? One fourteen Lafayette. Is that correct? That was taken not five minutes ago by my associate, Michael. What do you want? I want a statement. And you don't want Michael outside of your house a moment longer. What happens to me? Well, that's entirely up to you. Okay, I'll do it. I'm so glad we could work this out.
Liam. Walk with me. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. The thing about our friend Stan is Stan makes it easy. See, the guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. Now, <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A. <laughs> wow, God, this guy's swinging for the fences. And what is that? What are you doing, Bear? Coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck? You know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. You tell me what's next, Brenner? I don't know. I know you don't know. That makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girl's video to Stan and our friends at WZWY, send Stan a note with some of his private pics, and last but not least, we post a letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. You can say it. It's pretty awesome. It's. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Me and Brenner, we just dug up some major dirt on uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be uh, he'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Good work, Woodcock. Where are we with Joyce? Joyce? Uh, well, I I got a lock on his transpo. I'm mean, I packed into his camera. And I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not it's not it's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on it, and when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor. Hello? Hello? I mean, I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. Things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. I just... I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. I have to get back to work soon. 
You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. Oh, no. <sighs> Baby, you haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is. I'm she's being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> what is um, it? What? <laughs> I don't think that's the Come baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You would. <laughs> Yeah. Berg, you got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transpo to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside Ground Zero Perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. rebuild this great city, transforming it into an economic powerhouse over the past... research and design. And with Monarch's greatest investment in the future being right here in River, how bright the future is for all of us. Paul, there's been a development. Jack, you've already seen it. Tonight on the island, he'll be there and he'll want revenge. I need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided to you. Your fifth column, traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. now is Amy Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. 
I want people to know that he is a very dangerous person, a terrorist. Two bacon and egg sandwiches? Sounds oh, like a terrifying thanks. down there. We really appreciate your bravery going on record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. What's up, IT? And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance? Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so... You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. It's cool, they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what the what's the four one one? What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> the four one one. Yeah, the four one one. Everything's everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're gonna cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hatch knows what he's doing. You gonna go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. Uh, we can roll together if you want. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go. Okay, buddy. What are you gonna wear? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll go naked. Nice, I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk, so. See you tonight? Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Yep. Buddy. And this isn't what it looks like. Fuck, Beth. I really didn't want it to be you. You need to listen to me. Step away from the van. Step away! Right now! Drop the gun. I can't do that. You have three seconds till I pull. I better reflexes. Then you're a marksman for shit. No! Gosh, he's gone. Do you see what's happening? The stutters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the, the end, the end of what? Beth, the end of what, the of end time, of what? Of time, of time, of life as we know it, the entire universe, gone. And somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing, it's called a lifeboat, protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Put your hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Oh. Joyce just took down half my men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding I to I not give call. a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! If they take me in, then it's the end for me. And for you. Now! I'm just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find the lifeboat. Think about Emily. Just relax. Leo! Shut up! This lifeboat protocol, what is it? I don't know, but Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in? Hmm. 
Come on, guys. Twenty nine down. Forty more to go. And one more. Fiona. It's disgusting. Hmm. Holy shit. Lambert. <sighs> gotcha, buddy. Patch is gonna love this. <laughs> oh, shit. The fucking golden boy. Nothing there? He, like, he just wasn't there? Like, or what? No, Hatch, he, um, he reassigned me. He wants me to secure the perimeter lab on the island. He thinks oh. Joyce might go there. He sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Let me, uh, let me see what I can do. Thank you. You know, it's really funny that you say that, uh, that lead on Joyce was no good because, I don't know, uh, it sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch and that guy clearly, <laughs> clearly does not work for Monarch. Now I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me! Because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm gonna do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's gonna do to you. In about 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Good luck, buddy. Nine, eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Listen up, he's on level B near the main overpass. Just a reminder, you want our Get your flu shot. We are free of charge. Get him in HR. Structure. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor. Second floor, we've got a 
cut him off. He's setting out the entrance. Okay, he's heading south on Eastman, south on Eastman. Phantom team, he's headed to you. He's flying, look out. Copy. Cut him off, cut, go. Come on, you got this. Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Will? Uh. <sighs> Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away, right now. You've three seconds till I pull. I better reflexes. And you're a marksman. We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. I'm still waiting to wake up.
Okay. Doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became... unstable. With my new abilities, I could manipulate their timelines, rewind them. There's still no word from Burke on Jack Joyce's position. Very well. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional teams to search for Joyce? Negative. Focus efforts in our PR campaign. Amy Ferrero's confession goes live in a matter of minutes. What about Jack Joyce? Once that confession hits the air, the whole... Hey, what's Reaper Squad doing with the video cards up in A3? Looks like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. Filming confession videos. We blew the library to create misdirection. The media's gonna latch to that, and Amy's gonna tell them the protesters were behind the whole thing. You honestly think that's gonna be enough? You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a Monarch Cronin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks. If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm... No! At. Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find... We both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized the place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. I did 
what you said, okay? Please, please just let me go. You did good, Amy. Broadcast just went out, but Hatch wants a follow-up confession. You got the script? Yeah, this one's more reflective. Like, wish we could undo what we done sort of deal. Dave will feed you the line. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? You're never letting me go. Please. I didn't do anything. I just... It ain't fair, right? So use that on camera. Protest got out of hand. Thank God. What was that? That's all of them. Jack Joyce. Wait, you know me? What's going on? I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. I knew Marnock had a dark side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. Huh. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. It's locked. Ah, okay, there must be a gate control around somewhere. Yeah, I'll check. Monarch's twisting the story for the media, claiming the protest went hostile and that we detonated the library. Hey, it worked. It's not holding long. I don't think it's fast enough. That can be fixed. Like who? I saw them on the way in. These geared up soldiers that blink in and out. Okay. Oh, well, something new to look forward to. You know, I we're locked out. Maybe you can climb through that open window on the second floor? Yeah, that should work. Wait here. Guy who tells the 
till Paul founded Monarch. <clears throat> Need to get up to that open window. Is that another one of those rewind things? I'm starting to get the hang of this. That window, Jack? Made it. Now to get to that door. terminal up here and try and dig up what Monarch's really up to. Polaro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Shit. Things got very violent. I'm so sorry, Jack. And they forced me to do it. I, I know. Of Jack Joyce. There's nothing you could have done. Terrifying scene down there. We really that appreciate map over there should help you figure out a route. To speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. Round zero. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul? As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. We have unfinished business. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah, I think you're right. I'll open the door for you. Okay, stay in contact. Find a radio, I'll be on channel three. And be careful. Yeah, you too. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, I heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... For you? My powers were unpredictable. They kept growing by leaps and bounds. Jack, I found a radio. Are you okay? I'm still kicking. A monarch radio is lighting up. They heard a noise and know you're coming. Thanks for the heads up. We got contact! Oh, Shotgunner advancing on hostile!
Yeah. Any idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock some door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks. Looks like a way out. Now, how do I get it open? Yeah. I did some digging. This chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation, everything's linked to the CFR somehow. What the hell is Paul up to? Over the past six years, Monarch has made massive technological advances in the area of Meyer Joyce particles, better known as chronon particles. On July 4, 2010, unique temporal anomalies 
began to occur in a very small and focused area, we now refer to as Ground Zero, located within the Riverport Industrial Zone. This resulted in extremely dense emissions of Cronon particles, creating the perfect conditions for extraction, which led to the Cronon harvesting operation you see today. All of Monarch's Cronon technology relies on these particles. Stay which is the only device that can ensure safety. Assault enjoys! Neutralize the target! When the time is right, the <laughs> will be from this Sophia Emerald. Mr. Serene had anticipated. Monarch's resident chronon scientist. Chronon levels we lower to a point that she renders know a lot of no clear exit down here. In the near future. May have to head upward. I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essentials before we proceed. Hello. It's got to be I'm something Dr. I can use to get up there. Over the past six years, <laughs> in the area of Meyer Joyce particles, better known as chronon particles. July 4th, 2010, unique temporal anomalies began to occur in a very small and focused area we now refer to as Ground Zero, located within the Riverport Industrial Zone. This result creating the perfect conditions Not your average elevator. Which led to the Chronon technology. technology relies on these particles. Most notably, the Cronin Field Regulator, or CFR, which is the only device that ensures stabilization and regulation of mass quantities. <laughs> when the time is right, the entire supply of Cronon containers will be transported. Jack, I found Dr. 
documents here about some kind of private gala Marnak is hosting tonight? Tonight. After everything's happened. It has something to do with their future plans. Serene's delivering a speech and the guest list has everybody from monarch higher-ups to big shot scientists to the mayor of Riverport, which raises the question, why now? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. We refer to this area as the Red Sun. Okay. Getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? Hello, okay. Riverport. Looks like the trailer this has power now. Mac, filling in for Bobby Radford. Okay. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. The will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. It's kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I got that I got briefcase, briefcase we listed from go William Joyce's car. car. Laid out the contents in the trailer. You want me to go through them? No, no. Shereen wants the first look. look. Till then, I'm on my way to hands off. Try dogs. Shereen's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Ah, thanks for the vote of confidence. Amy, you okay at there? Shit. HQ, we just heard an explosion near the harvesting perimeter. Yeah, take a wild guess who that could have been. Charlie, get off the line. Striker team, take defensive positions around ground zero. Roger. recognize Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see what was in there, and it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks answering. We got the word. Safeguard squad's checking out that explosion. Striker team is establishing a defensive perimeter around Ground Zero. An entire striker team? For one guy? University incident got HQ wetting their pants. The kid's gonna get torn apart like a goddamn pinata. We're not alone!
Backup approaching green zone. Engaging target. men to move some stutters. We knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Holy shit. And yet he never tried to stop it. Never told you what he did in that workshop at Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. Absolutely no entry. Well, I'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule. this what the hell hell what is, what this? is this that already happened Well,
There's no words to describe it. Will was gone, but <sighs> he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Need my grant extended another year. Please, Please don't do don't this. Do this. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible to crack. It was overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. <clears throat> okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock, I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. Well, Jack's still here. I need to contain him. Paul, your condition is critical. The stress. If you don't receive your treatment, you know what could happen. There's something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. But what was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. having a fucking party because when time ends my we do this is... now i'm not meeting yes, you are i've already seen it happen 
Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! Stutters were getting bad. Be shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it could get much worse. But we both know it did.
like a goddamn maze in here. Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. My exact words were don't do anything stupid. I've never been a great listener. Well, time to start. Get in. What if I don't trust you? Then shoot me. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. Babysitter? Are you kidding me? I got good intel off that computer. Bitch. My ride, my music. Deal with it. What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in his briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury Swimming Hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. This building's been shut down for years. Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, but I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. Yeah, I bet you like the paycheck too. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. 
You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Will's key. Maybe it unlocks this. Key doesn't fit. Okay. I'm gonna find another way in. Make it quick. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. Can you find a way in, Jack? We shouldn't stay out here. There's no way in over here. <laughs> Hurry up, Jack. Hey, I think I found a way in. Everybody else. That what Monarch did at the university was necessary to protect them from. From Jack. Yeah. Guessing your little video on the news helped with that. <clears throat> no offense. Jesus. I have no idea what happened. Damn it. These stutters aren't going away. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments with rats? Okay, May 17th, 1998. $12,000 movie William bill. Joyce, and I'm about to conduct the you first must have hauled a lot more of this place than just some old boxes. My trusty pet mouse. Sure, you owned this place you're since you're 1999? Where'd he go? Why didn't Shit. you tell me, Will? Come on, Shorty. Come on. Teresa Sedmak here, filling in for Bobby Radford. About to bring your day. Any luck in there? Working on it. July 4th, 2010. What the hell is this? I'm addressing this video to you. Let's try this again. It's a disaster zone. The countermeasure gone. Taken. Oh, shit. Safe. Empty. I just need to know you have it. Hey, Jack. You gonna unlock this door for us? Yeah, just hold on. All right. Let's take a look around. Down here. <sighs> Nice work. I already did. Now how about you tell me how you know Will? I've never met your brother. I find that hard to believe, considering the video I just watched. What are you talking about, Jack? See for yourself. It's in the next room. 2010. Beth Wilder, 
I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay this away note. from the shop, but I couldn't just it's leave directed. it there. I went back to get it. At me. And the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone has been taken. That's the shelter. Shelter. I'm addressing this video to you. Safe. You told me to stay away from my workshop, just but, but I couldn't just leave it there. there. Because if it falls back to get it hands, and the entire oh, place is a disaster zone. zone. The countermeasure, sure. gone. Taken an entire shelter. What shelf. the? the Safe. This can't all be for nothing. I just need to you know if I have it. Because oh, please, it's in the wrong hands. Oh. It's power. It's immeasurable. 2010. Our entire lives depend Holy on Holy shit. This can't all be for nothing. What was he talking about? Find me. He recorded please. that for me in 2010? What the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. We need to we keep need our to keep contact, contact limited, limited from this point forward. forward. I'll, I'll find you on account of measures complete. complete. Did you find something? Paint. And it's still wet. I think someone was here recently, Jack. Help you me push this out of the way. stay here until we make sure it's safe. Yeah, I think you're right. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me. <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish. But he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. <clears throat> but I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Is that? Yeah, I think so. The second time machine. This changes everything. 
If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell does it look like? A round thing in the middle. I can't activate the core till it's reset. Okay. Got to figure out where to start. Where are the core controls? Need to find a way to reset the core first. Okay, where are the reset controls? Looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will is leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. The controls are up here, according to the monitor. I can't insert the date yet. Here goes nothing. This is gonna work. It has to. You guys aren't actually planning to use this machine, are you? So, I guess you're not at all concerned that one guy jerry-rigged this entire thing together? Because well, I think okay. that... Okay, literally see duct tape. It's fine. Okay, no, this is a great idea. Yeah, no way that this is gonna backfire. It worked. <laughs> it actually worked. Okay. We activate the core. This was the final step. Okay, Need to set up the machine there's first. There's no way that thing should be exposed like that. Something's wrong with the machine. Well, we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop I'm trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. 
But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. Thank <laughs> you.